Hey guys, Tanks here. Back to my usual indie game reviews. This time we're taking a look at a very unusual puzzle platformer with a super cool and super unique mechanic. The game is simply called Window Frame. Now, as you can obviously tell by now, this game is a little strange to stream and record because of the very nature of the core mechanic itself, that being the constant resizing of the window that the game is being played in. Anyway, let's talk about what this core mechanic is and how it works. You can throw stakes that allow you to pin the edges of the window frame, and you can then drag the frame towards you. You cannot, however, resize the frame in the opposite direction, so you can only shrink it, you can't expand it. Additionally, you can't resize the frame while you're in the air. And furthermore, you can hold down the R key while stationary to return all the stakes back to your possession. This combined with the fact that for each boss you beat, you lose one of your total stakes creates very interesting interactions. The edges of the screen will also destroy enemies as well as projectiles spawn from traps. And you can use the edges of the screen to wall jump or to simply walk over otherwise unpassable spikes or empty spaces. The puzzle aspect of this gameplay really shines as you progress through the game and have less and less stakes to work with. The later levels where you only have one stake really require you to sit and think about how you're going to get through each stage. The platforming itself is quite tight and satisfying, though wall jumping can feel a little awkward at times, at least when I played it using the keyboard, which is definitely not my preferred input method for platformers, but it was serviceable nonetheless. An additional neat aspect of the game is the ability to simply press the P key at any time to skip the level or boss fight you're on. This makes up for the lack of a save function and allows you to skip over levels you're frustrated with or understand how to beat but can't quite manage the mechanics of doing so. I really appreciate when game developers push the medium in new directions with unique mechanics like this. It's especially great when those mechanics are then put to skillful use and explored well. The boss fights are a fitting example of taking the core mechanic and tinkering it with a bit, as the bosses themselves will use their own powers to control the window frame and force you to dance to their fiddle, which is a nice twist on you constantly being in control of the frame yourself. The game is pretty short, but each level feels solidly designed and beating them requires equal parts strategy and execution, which makes it very rewarding when you manage to finish a level. It's unlike any game I've played before, and the novelty of the mechanic doesn't wear off during the time it takes to beat the game. The resizing of the window frame is iterated on in such a way that it feels fresh and unique throughout the game. I highly recommend checking out this game if you're interested in platformers at all, and I would also recommend it to current and aspiring game designers as a demonstration of how a single mechanic can be used to spawn an entire game. This game is completely free and can be downloaded on itch.io, I'll also put a direct link in the description below. But yeah, that's about all I have for now. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.